This is the Mandalorian episode two. Um, they're having it on Friday, which is weird, but okay. So, I mean, two episodes within two days, and I guess the rest gonna be weekly. Um, a weird way to do it, but okay. Why don't I just why didn't they just have the both episodes on the on the same day, or maybe maybe it's, maybe it's because they wanted to wait so that people would catch up to it on Friday. I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of event going on. There has to be a reason why. It seems very arbitrary otherwise. <clears throat> why not just wait till next week? But, anyway. So, I guess, so, um, but, um, here we go. Uh, I, I got a couple of, things, I think, I think some, a couple of things I noticed, and then we go straight, let me go to it. Go to it. Uh, um, oh yeah. Well, okay, first of all, the IG, it wasn't IG-88. I had to go look it up. I thought it was, but it didn't make any sense, because it wasn't IG-88 dismantled, the Empire Strikes Back. I, it's an IG-11, apparently. So there's another droid, Bounty Hunter. Which I thought was kind of... I thought was kind of weird. I was always under the impression that IG-88 was a rogue droid who... Like, gain, it's sort of... I guess he gained sentience and... Was going on bounty hunting and stuff. But if the other IG-8... Either IG units doing that, it makes it look like the IG unit was built for bounty hunting or something. I don't know. That's a little weird to me. <clears throat> but um, let's see. Oh yeah, the other thing is, I never realized how visual this show is. So you really gotta be watching the every little detail because a lot there's a lot put into details. For instance, I I noticed how his outfit, the Mandalorian, who I guess doesn't have a name yet, as far as I know. His armor is all rusty except for his helmet. So I guess his helmet is probably pure best class steel or whatever they call it. But I think the rest of his um most of his body is not so not so much. And that his payment the, the payment he got I think was that steel that he wanted. And he used it for his um to put on his shoulder blade. And so I, I, I didn't realize that I didn't I wasn't really paying attention to at that before I got it now that uh, it looks like he's gonna be upgrading his suit as he goes along so that's cool it's something we can some kind of progression that we can um, that we can get that we can uh, watch I like that oh yeah last thing I guess is why they why the Yoda character uh, only thing I could think of is we've only met two of Yoda species both Yoda and Yaddo and both of them are Jedi Yoda being one of the most powerful Jedi. Makes me wonder, makes me think that maybe all of Yoda's species, rare as they are, when you come when you come when you come across one, they are all hiding force sensitive. It's possible that that um they're trying to collect any force sensitive characters. Cause it looks like that those people in that room are kinda like old Empire. Maybe. Not sure. But it looks like it. I think they're trying to get the Empire started based on the last thing one Hotzog said. Well, somebody else had mentioned to on a comment in the comment section of a YouTube video, someone mentioned that the 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 other guy who showed up with the glasses and whatnot, he was a communal scientist. I thought something looked familiar about him, but I couldn't quite figure it out. Supposedly he had the communal he had the communal um clone outfit on. Cloning Scientist outfit on or whatever, implying that maybe the Yoda, Yoda creature is actually a clone of Yoda, but uh, younger, very young. I don't know, but that's where I'm at at uh, at this point. He could be some kind of mysterious recreated Yoda. Well, if they were to train something like that, he'd be the most dangerous force user on all the planet. But the other people wanted him dead. Looks like, looks like there were more, there were a lot of people who were coming after this thing, so he's not the only one. But they're the only ones who wanted him alive, right? Ig Eleven wanted him dead. Also, is Ig gonna come back? Will he just reprogram, or is that it for the droids? He doesn't like droids, so I I would think he wouldn't bring him back. He's probably not gonna bring him back. Might be that was just a guest star for the first episode. I don't know. We might see a lot. Of, we're gonna see a lot of bounty hunters be taken out by the Mandalorian. All right. 
Um, let's do it. Yeah. Maybe not. And it's really short. It's only half an hour. What the heck? It's almost as short as a Kim Possible episode or something. Ready, set, go! You said you were the best in the Parsec. Like a gaffy stick. <clears throat> wow, that's cute. That was really cute. Sentient? I mean, or is it still a baby? Oh my gosh, that is adorable. It's like the Tuscan Raiders. Yeah. Wow, that thing is way too cute. It's really cute. I can't deny it. Whoa, it's getting up. Oh my god, you wanna heal it? Okay, he he, def he definitely can think for himself. <laughs> what? He'll close it. Wow. I feel instantly connected between those two. My car hasn't been a single word yet. Oh my gosh. So maybe he is on chapter three, because it's showers. He needs he has a ride. <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> he waited. Oh, it, it waited. I don't really know if it's a boy or girl. Some of that, some of the stuff in that scene just... I almost forgot. I, I forgot. I mean, it actually felt, it really did feel like Star Wars for a second now. The, the way the Jawas did the thing and everything. No words. I haven't been a single word yet. Oh my gosh. I just realized he found a ship. So he's back where he started from. Where's that guy? The pig, the pig dude. Yep, yeah, they shot beautiful parts. There's the tire tracks. Oh, that's a big shot. Yeah, I see moisture, I see moisture evaporators everything. I thought you were dead. Hey, there he is. Oh my god, I, I can just imagine just hear everybody saying how cute he is. He is so tiny. This <laughs> flood was completely thrown away to recover the parts. <laughs> I would take you to them. I have spoken. Hey, spit that out. They're coming out catch for his... Oh! It's a hungry little thing. He ate it all in one bite. That's what I'm talking about, man. In Star Wars, there's a lot of walking and traversing with transportation. <laughs> Good. He speaks the language? You speak terrible, Joe. I knew it. I don't think they ever had subtitles in the uh, original one, right? I kind of like that they. I kind of like that they didn't have it. It makes them a little too human. To put subtitles on them. I know I, I understand the story a little more complex now because they're involved in it. They were gonna have to um, have a little more dialogue, but I think it makes them look a little look more human, a little, little more human. I think having no subtitles keeps them alien. Oh my gosh! It's huge. Oh, we're not with. They took the bullets. Oh, shit. You let it hit you. What do you do? Oh, oh. Oh, I knew it. Oh, you're a clone. Whoa. Oh, oh, he's 
that? What was that? What was that? What was that? These are a different clan because they look like they have darker robes on or something. What are they gonna do with that? They're gonna just eat it. It's just an egg. <laughs> They're just gonna eat it. All that for their for their lunch. Like a coconut. I'm surprised you waited. I'm surprised you took so long. He got it he got everything. This is gonna take days to fix. If you care to help, it might go faster. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. Please allow me to give you a portion of the reward. I cannot accept. You are my guest, and I am therefore in your service. This is a crew member of your ability. Oh, what? I can pay handsomely. I am honored, but I have worked a lifetime to finally be free of servitude. I understand. Um, all I can offer is my thanks. And I offer mine. Thank you for bringing peace to my valley. He is ha he's happy where he is. And good luck with the child. That's probably the last we see of him. He was cool. I, I like this idea of you know meeting some people and leaving. Not every not everybody's gonna join you just because you asked them to. For the most for the most of the journey, just two of them, you know, riding. <coughs> Christopher Nolan's next movie. Yeah. Well, that's Star Wars uh, Mandalorian Episode 2. Very quiet. Very quiet and visual show. Interesting. Interesting. There's not much to talk about, though. Uh, this is the kind of thing I, I think I should just... Like, I would Normally, I would just kind of enjoy watching... Just kind of go on the journey, really. There's not much to say. It's just fun to watch. Nice and quiet start to a series. Kind of, a, it's a slow burn. I like it. Star Wars into episode three.